Blakey with news announcements for St. John and Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and later on SandylandCenter.org, our website. We ought to ask you to check into that because the bulletin board is on there and there are all other kinds of uh, meetings, the county, the city, that are on the website and you can go back and look at uh, meetings that occurred a year ago or better if you uh, have an interest to go on the website and check. <coughs> SandyLandCenter.org Well, today's Friday. It's the 10th of July already and uh, we're having a cloudy day today. It's 78 here in the square at noon. And uh, there's a 40% chance of a scattered thunderstorm. And uh, we already had a little rain early this morning. But the sc scattered thunderstorm is supposed to be around 5 o'clock or 6 tonight. Uh, then the temperature, the high temperature today will be a, a big change. It will be 89. <clears throat> Then Saturday and Sunday, Sunday are both sunny and uh, the high temperature on Saturday 97 and on Sunday 104. So it looks like the cool weather is over for a while. Now on Monday it's partly cloudy with a high of 104 and Tuesday sunny and a high of only 101 and then on Wednesday there's evening or nighttime uh, thunderstorms with a high temperature that day 99 and a 40% chance of rain. <clears throat> Our uh, special days uh, for the weekend are uh, Tim and Di Fisher have an uh, anniversary today and tomorrow Mildred Fisher's birthday. Happy birthday Mildred. Now, uh, we do have a new announcement, and that's the commodity distribution for St. John. We'll be at the Sunflower Center on Wednesday, the 22nd of July, from 9 until 11 in the morning. <clears throat> then we have the Recreation Commission uh, uh, trips, and they're having a lunch bunch or a brunch bunch on uh, July 14, which is Tuesday, and they're going to Carolyn Eisenhower's. Uh, and they leave at 8 in the morning, and they stop at Glenn's Bulk Food in Pleasant View as well. And they'll be home by 1. Uh, also, uh, on Tuesday again, but later, Tuesday the 28th, there's a trip to Burns, Kansas, and uh, they leave at 8, they have a coffee break at the Dutch Kitchen, and then shopping at Dearborn Village, a unique shopping experience. Lunch at Our Daily Bread, fourth generation bakery and cafe. <clears throat> then they'll return to uh, St. John uh, in the afternoon. And the cost is $10, the coffee break and lunch are on your own. And uh, the final one is not in July, but it's in August early. August 3rd, Monday, is a hamburger and trimming sponsored by the St. John Hudson Recreation Commission. And that will be at the Witt Center at 6 o'clock. And people are invited to bring a salad or a dessert to complement the hamburgers, which are going to be on the Recreation Commission. So that's something to remember and look forward to, and at 6 o'clock on the first Monday in August. Then we have our uh, senior uh, fellowship meals for both uh, cities, and uh, St. John at the Sunflowers, they're having uh, baked fish and macaroni and cheese today. On Monday, they're having baked chicken and potato salad. And on Tuesday, ham patties with pineapple and fried potatoes with pork gravy. Then uh, 
the sunflower, not the sunflowers, the VIP center in Maxville, and they're having either a hot chicken sandwich or beef fingers and rice today. Uh, Monday they're having baked hamburger with uh, deli fixins and tater tots. And on Tuesday they're having oven fried chicken and mashed potatoes with, with gravy. And uh, the fellowship meals are really a great thing to keep together the seniors in, and it saves you some money. And so we do encourage people to go so that we can continue to keep having the program that we have in both cities. Well, uh, the word of the day is this, the recipe for trouble. Believe everything you hear and then repeat it to other people. And that's the recipe for trouble. This is Jim Lakey, hoping that you have a good weekend and uh, plan on it being very warm.